Hello everyone, I am Lakshmi Desai. I am a student of 6th SEM Civil Branch and I am from BLD Engineering College. So today I am here to explain about dry feeding devices. So before starting of my topic that is dry feeding devices, let me give a brief introduction about coagulation sedimentation tank. This coagulation sedimentation tank has got four units, feeding devices, mixing devices also called as mixing basin, flocculators also called as flocculation tank and uh, settling or sedimentation tank. Feeding devices. These devices are automatic devices that are basically used to provide the exact amount of uh, coagulant that has been calculated so that we can provide it uh, in the exact form of dosage into the water. In feeding devices, there are two different methods, dry feeding and wet feeding. If you add the coagulant in the form of powder, then it is said to be dry feeding and the devices used are called as dry feeding device. And if you add, similarly if you add the uh, coagulant in the form of standard solution, then it is said to be wet feeding and the device used is called as wet feeding device. Uh, so coming back to my topic that is dry feeding device. I'll show you the diagram of dry feeding device. Uh, basically in the form of a uh, tank having hopper bottom. So this is the dry feeder. Uh, this device has got agitating plates and uh, toothed wheel, powdered coagulant which is added, which has been added and uh, at last this is a mixing basin having raw water. So as you have seen the uh, diagram of dry feeding device, these, you have seen the agitating plates. So these agitating plate has been provided to remove the lumps and arching of powdered coagulant if in case it's present. Toothed wheel. So this wheel will be rotating and with certain speed and this is controlled by the venturi meter or the venturi device which is connected to the uh, toothed wheel. Toothed wheel can also be replaced with a helical screw. So even it has got a same property as that of uh, toothed wheel. So I will show you the diagram of helical screw. So here you can see both the diagrams that is toothed wheel as well as helical screw. So this is the helical screw. So we are left with the last part of the dry feeding device that is mixing basin which has got raw water in it. When the quantity of water that is flowing in the mixing basin is more then it, it triggers the toothed wheel and it starts rotating more faster so that the coagulant that is present in the hopper falls at the same rate that is uh, at a required rate for the amount of water that is flowing in the mixing basin. So we know that the venturi meter is or the venturi device is a flow measuring device and this is how the toothed wheel work works. So when it rotates faster, the coagulant amount is also uh, falling at, at more quantity into the water. And uh, similarly, if, if the rate of water is less, then the amount of coagulant is also less, uh, which is basically connected to the venture emitter. So this was the working of a dry feeding device. Uh, I, I hope so you have uh, come to know what, what exactly is dry feeding device and how it works. Last, I would uh, like to thank Professor Asha Arvikar who has given such a wonderful assignment uh, during these uh, uh, lockdown holidays. So, uh, by doing such a video presentation, we can come out of fear of speaking and improve the language. And uh, we also can come to know what mistakes usually we do while speaking. And, um, it helps it helped me in many other things also so i would really thank you ma'am for such a wonderful uh, assignment which you have given